Alright guys, well I decided to leave the side panel door off simply because I want to show you what's inside and that would be easier. Also taking the accessory box off, we'll take a look at what's inside later. <coughs> As you can see, that's another 80mm fan I talked about. It's definitely not a 200. You have, that's the main compartment. Or, uh, well, the, this case is basically split into two compartments. The main or the upper for the motherboards and uh, um, half of the hardware is almost half of the hardware is in the uh, five and a quarter inch uh, devices sit. And there's the bottom compartment, which is for the power supply and the second batch of hard drives, if you wish to put any there. You got uh, grommeted holes on the well basically the plate that separates the two comp compartments but anyways uh, so you can fit five hard drives in here and that includes SSDs as well so these are toolless designed uh, hard drive holders also have the screw placing our mounts for uh, SSDs or two and a half inch drives but uh, w you will need to use screws with the SSDs but you won't with the hard drives as they are toolless and they have uh, rubberized uh, things I guess that holds the hard drive in place reduces vibration and, uh, and noise all of them come with that uh, the front have mesh there's plenty of space for the airflow from the front fan to get inside the case obviously cooling the hard drive uh, the bottom compartment as you can see this is a well you, you have two fans here 220 millimeter fans and these are easily detachable you just press this little thing here and this also swings and then comes off these fans aren't uh, connected at the moment they were they weren't when they came with the case so none of the fans were in fact I've made uh, except no, no, none of them right so uh, I'm probably gonna have to replace them I mean I don't have to but I will because uh, well I'm gonna have to water cool it and one of the uh, the, the lower compartment has the perfect place to mount one or two 240 rads as you guys shall see later so you have you had five hard drive cages at the top you have an additional six for a total of 11 these are removable by pressing these of course they're uh, bolted down with two screws at the back you lose them and these uh, come right off I'll show that to, to you guys later you have this space to put the power supply uh, which has a nice cushiony foam on it obviously to absorb vibration and reduce noise and you have a dust filter for the power supply as any decent case should come with it's also of course removable that's about the lower uh, lower compartments all yeah uh, of course you can also add a 120 mm fan up front for additional airflow and then this thing uh, the bracket for these two fans is easily reattachable you simply, if I can show with one hand simply put the thing into the thing adjust the thing with the other thing and there it goes it's pretty easy to swap hard drives I mean, it, Cooler Master literally thought of everything. Literally. Now, coming up the front of the case, on the, on the inside, you have three toolless five and a quarter inch devices. These basically press a button, they lock, and press it again, they unlock. The fourth one is not toolless, but comes with, uh, well, I've, sh I've shown you it. They're hot swappable. SATA ports or uh, 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 SATA devices, drives. Yep, having trouble speaking. I'll get to the details later, but there's your 140 millimeter fan, rear exhaust, and you also got a 120 millimeter exhaust in the roof. Now this is a mess. I mean, it looks like a mess, but there's a lot of space behind the case. I'll show you guys again. I've said that a million times in a bit. Uh, so, it's pretty simple. The hot swappables 
have cables already connected to them for power and uh, SATA connections. These are all the front panel ding dongs and whatnots. You've got your USB and that's one of the USB for uh, one of the USB headers for two USB ports. That's your audio, HD and analog. This is for M SATA. This is the USB 3 connector. And there she also oh, there we go. Here's the other uh, USB 2 header. These are the hard drive activity IO activity uh, power and reset switch. It doesn't have a speaker, which is a good thing. Don't need one. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty standard. Let me just tuck them aside for a second. There we go. Here, these all these fans are for the integrated fan controller. The black ones. I'm being racist here. Uh, the black ones are for the LEDs. As you can see, it only has two ports, and those are for controlling the LEDs. Some fans come with two separate cables. One is a three or four pin, which is for the power and control of the speed of that fan. And uh, some of them come with an additional two cables. That is for the control of LEDs. So they thoughtfully included those. The other fan uh, controllers, sorry, the fan cables have a three pin connecting sort of thing going on. I'd, uh, I would have liked to see four pin if you had PWM fans. Can be quite useful. All of these are coded, by the way, so uh, I'm getting uh, running out of battery. Give me a second, guys.